17 years, I've never been to a dentist. When that person starts to experience pain, that's when they're going to start looking for a dentist and they're going to find there isn't one. I could not get into an NHS dentist. So in the end, I decided to take measures of my own. I rang up everyone in a five mile limit, everywhere in a 10 mile limit. Every single one of them was saying they were no longer taking NHS patients. Yorkshire farmer Phil Baptiste spent years trying to find a dentist. He ended up in extreme pain from toothache. Okay. Unable to get professional help, he decided to take drastic and highly dangerous action that nobody would recommend. There's all the gaps down there, which is two. Two missing from there. Two missing from there, but the gaps closed up on that one. And two actually from there. So um, six gaps, uh, a small gap that's closed up from a previous tooth. And most of these you took out yourself? Yes, it's the stabbing pain that really gets to you. And when you can't sleep, you think I've got to do something about it. And if you can't get into the emergency dentist or the dental hospital because of whatever strange rules or the amount of people have got on there, then you've got to do something about it. And the only thing to do is take your teeth out. This is what you use to yank your teeth out? This is what gets the biggest part of the tooth because it Can never... You just, I mean, don't pull your teeth out now, but just show me what you do. Well, you want it so it's gripping the tooth, so... But you don't want to crush the tooth, so you don't want to put too much pressure because if you crush the tooth, it breaks and that's even harder because then you have to go into smaller and smaller pliers and then eventually the tweezers uh, to extract it. You're actually gripping it, but trying not to crush it, and you're yanking and twisting, exactly like a dentist does, but you're having to do it for yourself. Phil says he wasn't earning very much, so there weren't many options. Lots of people might say, well, if you can't get an NHS dentist and you're really in that much pain, shouldn't you try and go private? I went to this free consultation and was given an estimate, not a quote, an estimate of £2,800-odd. And I thought they'd got the decimal point in the wrong place. Phil's situation isn't unique. In a region on the sharp end of health inequality. If ever there were an example of how the system isn't working, it's here in Dewsbury, where it's estimated 65% of the population don't have a dentist. A yarn, come on, look, we're going to wish your teeth. Nasima Patel has been trying to encourage her four-year-old son to brush his teeth, even buying him a novelty toothbrush. But she cannot get him a checkup with the dentist. I'm registered, so I'm thinking that he should be registered at the same dentist because he's only a little child. But when he has pain, then I don't know what to do about it. And what was the reason they gave you for not taking him on? They were saying that it's too, they've got too many people on and it's, um, you need to be on a waiting list. Take it. Ayan's aunt has also been trying to register with a dentist. The family are on a low income, so travelling to another town isn't an option. 17 years, I've never been to a dentist. I'm trying to find one that's closer to home because we don't have a car at the moment, it's really hard to travel. It just starts hurting so much. Mm. So what do you do when it hurts? Mm, most of the time I just leave it or when I press my teeth together, it, it stops hurting and then when I, when I stop doing it, it starts hurting. The situation in Dewsbury has reached such a crisis point that a charity which normally works on patients in the developing world has had to set up a clinic in the UK for the very first time. So it was that bad boy up there, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Dewsbury dentist Nick O'Donovan has volunteered his surgery for the Dentaid Clinic. Tonight he's extracting a tooth for Dean Stones, who's had an abscess and been in agony for weeks. There you go, you see the hole in it? How are you feeling? All right, just a bit different with tooth being out. <laughs> Patients like Dean haven't been able to register with a regular dentist. The Dentaid Clinic acts as a stopgap, running once a week, providing only very basic treatment for those who desperately need it. It's just infections. 
rotten teeth. There's a lot of unrestored rotten teeth out in Dewsbury that aren't causing pain at this present time. Yeah, when that when that person starts to experience pain, you know that's when they're going to start looking for a dentist, and they're going to find there isn't one. Nick says he wants to take on more NHS patients, but the contract set up with local health authorities limits the number he's allowed to treat. We've got surgeries sat empty during the You've night. got surgeries sat empty when there's people waiting for dentists? Yes, I do. Doesn't that seem mad to you, though, that you want to take on more NHS patients, you've got surgeries sat empty... And I've got a dentist waiting to do them. You've got a them. dentist waiting to do them. You've got people in Dewsbury wanting an NHS dentist and they can't get one. Yes, it's, it, but that's the contract. Each dental practice is paid by the NHS to offer only a set amount of treatment work. They can't exceed that target. And that's why places like this can't register more NHS patients. Dewsbury is one example of a much wider problem across England, where too many people are unable to access a dentist. Some argue it's not just teeth, but the system itself that's become rotten, because some dentists are too focused on meeting targets to make a profit. The dental contracts are running far too much for the benefits of private businesses and not enough for the benefit of patients. I think dentists are, are by and large businesses looking to make a profit and it's far more profitable to do a quick, easy checkup for a patient with healthy teeth than it is to do a difficult piece of, of, of complex uh, root canal work. NHS England argue overall more patients are getting the dental care they need, but admit there's a strong link between social deprivation and dental disease, and that there are some gaps. People like Phil, though, are left resorting to extreme measures because the system isn't working for them.